Kosovo in Grosse's village, there was an uprising. A local militia group came through, looting, raping, burning and killing indiscriminately. Grace managed to hide and escape the onslaught. Her husband and her daughter were not so lucky. As I woke up this morning, Black Panther was dead. The people was mad because he ain't broadcasting shit. They will never understand why my face is semicolon. Imagine Dwayne Johnson right after 94, kid. The respect they give is never the respect they live. You motherfuckers is pedophiles, you don't respect the kid. Nowadays, I'm MJ when I'm staring in the mirror. Am I human or am I a creature that's looking scary? If I'm a black man, then why the black man is hanging the black man with the same drugs that he profiles being the white man? And if I'm a white man, then why the white man feeding the white man the same bullshit that he's using to feed the black man it's all poison self-hatred self-facelift i don't want to be neo but we in the matrix understand that dwc the death stroke i'm lewis lebron clear but they don't want to hear the death so don't see me alone i don't bother nobody oh yeah we don't see me alone i don't bother nobody oh yeah i don't see me alone Hey, you wanna know how you catch a little black kid and stop him from jumping on the bed? Well, just go on Amazon. Amazon. Buy yourself some crazy glue and some Velcro. And stick it on the top of the ceiling. <laughs> Yo, check out this white girl right here. What is she doing? Yo, boy. She can't dance with shit. Yo, since so I knew that white girl was a dad, If you calling out, people won't bull, bull, bull. Understand they'll get mad and push, push, push. So now use the bad guy. All eyes on me like the homie that died Man, I'm trying to free my mind But I can't free my mind Cause man living lies and lies But the truth is, is that we all living lies We think we still living, but we already died Don't so leave me alone Cause I don't bother nobody Oh, yeah We don't leave me alone Cause I don't bother nobody Oh, yeah I don't leave me alone truly have knowledge, and if I really truly have knowledge, then we recognize the highest status with Allah, of the highest knowledge is that I'm just a slave. I am in, and the, the word slave I use deliberately, I didn't say servant, I said slave, because it's kind of an offensive term, right, and literally in the Arabic language, I have to try to translate the Arabic of the Quran as close to the English as possible, I'm not trying to be politically correct, I'm trying to be accurate from a language point of view. Abd actually does mean slave, and yes, slave is an offensive term, but I want you to understand why that's used, because slavery to anyone other than Allah is humiliation, but slavery to Allah is an honor, it's actually freedom, and also you, can, you can't think of any title, any title that somebody could give you that could be lower than slave. Like, whoever has a job in the world, any role in the world, when they take that role, there is no more humble, more lower a title than that one. Here you have someone who has higher and higher, the highest knowledge, and yet he's, all he is, is Abdan, a slave. And on top of that, it's not Al-Abd. It's not even Mu'arraf Billah. It's not even the servant. Like, this is the man to learn from. No, just any servant. He's the, there's an anonymity to him. This is profound. Because it teaches us something about what it means to truly learn Islam. When somebody's truly learning the knowledge of Allah, then actually they are more and more and more within everyone else, not above. They're not above them. They are more humble than they are full of their credentials. Do you know where I graduated from? Do you know what degree I have? Do you have any jaza in this? Do you, did you study under this shaykh? None of that matters now. That disappears. Understand we all slaves! We all slaves.